let's transition from age 65, which is a big one, to another one, which is a new big one, age 67. What happens at 67? Yeah. So we've transitioned over the years from age 65 being the full retirement age to age 66. And then we kind of went through this 66 plus to 46810 to now 67 being the full retirement age for those born in 1960 or later. The jury's out as to whether that will increase because of the insolvency issues facing Social Security. But for now, individuals born in 1960 or later have a full retirement age of um, 67. Why it's critical to understand when yours is based upon your date of birth. The only caveat I'll give is if you were born on January 1st of the year, you look to the prior year to determine your full retirement age. But the magic happens at full retirement age. A couple things. You get 100% of your primary insurance amount. Your primary insurance amount is based on your highest 35 years of indexed earnings that you've had over your working career. Um you also no longer have to worry about the earnings limitation. It goes away. So you could work to your heart's desire and still collect a benefit and not worry about a pullback of your benefits because of it. So a lot of ha happens there. I would say, you know, with people living and working longer, particularly living longer, getting to that age, I would say, okay, that's better than nothing, right? Filing at yeah. 62, I would usually not encourage. Um so that's a, a magic age. Getting to that point is is good. Um, it's also when, if you're a dependent spouse, um, that's when you would get the full 50% spousal benefit. So a lot of good things happen at that age. So that's a critical one. Um, make sure, again, you know, not everyone is born in 1960 or later. You have to look to your year um, of birth. And if you're January 1st, like my my grandfather was, then he would go the year before. So okay. incredible, a, a critical age. And really working with someone that understands Social Security filing, timing, looking at everything you have. And it's not just looking at break-evens. I could go into a whole segment about why you shouldn't just look at that. Um, you got to look at everything else. What other sources of income you have? The type of income it is. How is it going to be taxed? How is it going to affect Social Security taxation? Um, age is just one part of that. So that's what I'll yeah. say about that. 